Hey YouTube, I'm back again and I'm bringing you yet another video. And this video is a follow-up video to my curl collection box that I received for June. Curl collection box that I received for June had amazing botanicals inside of it. And I did try these products and they were an epic failure. And they were not an epic failure because of the products. They were an epic failure because I needed to study the products first is what I should have done. And if you could pause for one second, I left the closet door open. That is a no-no. As I stated, the use of the project, the products was not the products, it was me. And I should have checked the pH and of course at the time that I got it, I wasn't really into the, wasn't ready for that pH step and so I had a snowstorm. I mean, we sing this song in church, there's a storm out on the ocean and it's moving this way. I, it moved all my way because I was flaking from the head all over my clothes. It was bad. I had to actually, I had to co-wash it out. It just wasn't going to work. So this is the issue. Now, these are great products. They can be because they're all natural products and so they can be great products for you. And they can be great products for me, but it's how I work them. The black soap poo, this pH is about an 8 or a 9. It was off my chart. I think I showed you the chart. And this is my chart right here. It was black, purple, dark purple. So it was probably about 9 or 10. It was somewhere in there. So this is very alkaline, very alkaline, which wasn't a problem for me. I can tell the difference when I rinsed it out, how my hair laid, my curls just laid. And the, it was so full of water because those cuticles were wide open. So this was the issue. Say, say that this is a nine, okay? It's concentrated, very highly concentrated. As I stated before, I needed like two dime size amounts of this for my whole head both times. It's highly concentrated. So I used this, then went from like a nine pH to the honey condition. And the pH on this is only a 5.5 or 5.8, which most conditioners are. That's a no-no. That's like to hear, talk, drastic. Can't do that. Because I did this, which I'm here, then brought it all the way back here. Then went and opened them up my cuticles again because this hibiscus gel, it's a 6.2. You, you can't do that. I mean... You, you can't do it. It's, I can't. My little porosity hair can't. So, five, a six. So, if I did this poo at eight or nine, then this gel is at a six, two. I would need to manipulate this gel. This gel has flaxseed oil, aloe, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil. I can probably add a little bit of aloe vera gel. Aloe vera is a 5.8, 6.0, but I think if I add a little bit of aloe vera gel to this, it may drop it down a little bit. This is too high. I would have to use this and then use this and then use this to close it. Am I going to put the leave-in on top of the gel? I don't know. So the pHs are, are high. But this hibiscus hibiscus gel i have to look back on the paperwork because i don't know if i can use this as a leave it's just a gel for my curls this is a conditioner but it's also a leave-in this would close this if you're following me i could use this and use this to close but i've never put a leave-in on top of a gel i don't know and then the curl, my curl, last curl kit, or the curl kit before that, we got Amazing Botanicals Aloe Mint Spritz. And this has distilled water aloe juice infused with marshmallow root, burdock, nettle, horsetail, extract, Irish moss and peppermint, jojoba oil, black castor oil, wildflower and honey, path um, pathanol, and rosemary. The pH on this is 6.2. The pHs are high. These are good alkaline, um, pro like 
say you get up and your hair is like dry and you don't really have time so you want to open you can open your cuticles with this well I could my low porosity hair I could and then throw a conditioner or leave-in that's at a 5.5 or 5.0 and close them that can do you actually you could do this open it and put this in as a leave-in and go on about your business because this will sh shut it it will close it but this and this this will need to be manipulated because this is really high. So that's why it was an epic failure for me. It wasn't the product. It was just that I, I used, I even used this. And I haven't tested the pH on this. This is the Go Green Liquid Pomade. I haven't tested the pH on this, which I have to do. I used everything. And everything shouldn't have been used. And that's why it, it wasn't a success for me. So I am going to do another review on that, but I know to how to use them because of the pH. And so um, I will come back and I will do a review there. And next time it will work um, for me. And then I'll be able to really give you um, my honest opinion. So until then, see you. Rate, subscribe, and comment. Smooches.